Hello, welcome to Rapid TV News Headlines for the week ending the 30th of April 2021. And the main news this week, discussions confirmed for BT Sports Sale, spending on US streaming to exceed pay TV by 2024, and viewers flock to big screens driving global streaming spike. It seems that just as the final whistle blew in the second semi-final of the Champions League, BT issued a come-and-get-me plea for its sports broadcasting division. The incumbent UK telco confirmed that early discussions were being held with a number of select strategic partners to explore ways to generate investment, strengthen BT Sports and help take it to the next stage in its growth. Interested purchasers reportedly include DAZN, Amazon, Walt Disney and private equity companies. In what could be a landmark for the US entertainment industry, research from Strategy Analytics is projecting that viewers will soon spend more on streaming video than pay TV for the first time. According to the US subscription TV forecast report, consumer spending on traditional pay TV services fell by 8% to $90.7 billion in 2020 and will likely decline further to $74.5 billion in 2023. By contrast, spending on streaming services such as video on demand and internet delivered subscription TV rose to $39.5 billion in 2020 and will reach $76.3 billion in 2024 passing pay TV for the first time. The report also predicts that by 2026, pay TV will account for only 40% of spending on video and TV services. The Convivia State of Streaming report for the first quarter of 2021 has shown solid year-on-year -year streaming growth in North America, but massive surges in international markets. As streaming viewing time grew 36% annually during the three-month period. The study revealed North America as streaming's largest market with 18% annual growth in streaming viewing. This, though, was overshadowed by South America with 240%, Africa with 149%, and Europe with 122%. In other news, in a bid to help media and entertainment firms reinvent how they create content and compete for audience attention across streaming broadcast and DTC platforms, Amazon has introduced AWS Media and Entertainment. The initiative features new and existing services and solutions built specifically for content creators, rights holders, producers, broadcasters and distributors. It's said to align the most purpose-built capabilities of any cloud against key solution areas to help customers launch new streaming services, expand content catalogues and introduce new viewing experiences. Having delivered a massive last quarter of 2020, Apple surpassed its own and Wall Street's calculations in the first three months of 2021. Overall, the company posted quarterly revenues were $89.6 billion, up 54% year-on-year. International sales accounted for 67% of the quarter's total revenue. Revenues broke down to $72 billion in product sales and almost $17 billion in services. It generated $48 billion in iPhone sales alone. And finally, research by Ampere Analysis into the TV viewing habits of internet households in Europe's big five markets has revealed a rapid rate of change in the media landscape, with content binging, stacking streaming and pay TV among the key trends. On average, over 80% of pay TV households across the UK, France, Spain, Italy and Germany also subscribe to at least one streaming service. France saw the highest increase in the uptake of subscription video on demand in pay TV households in the last year, with 72% now also taking SVOD, compared to 66% in the same period last year. For more information on these stories and others, please go to the Rapid TV News website. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.